Too little, too late. one minus one minus one minus one gets them down to two and then that's game two uh. absolutely stupid Welcome to another eternal Behemoth Atera draft. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And let's see if we can get another trophy. Okay, okay, what do we got? Hit six power this turn. Interesting. Wow. Uh, that's different. What else do we got? Oh, to note, uh, Cautious Mantis. As far as the relevant cards, uh, they released a patch where they lowered Cautious Mantis attack by one, so it's a 3-4. Which, I mean, Cautious Mantis has been amazing, and that definitely is a de uh, debuff, but it, it's still going to be great. I haven't been able to play with Hive Hexagon. Starting with that card early is also better than later because you can build around it more. And then there's Gentle Seeker. So both of these are kind of more build around -y cards. And there's nothing else in this pack that's really like, oh my god, we need this. So it's between these two. Let's try Hive Hexagon. Why not? Oh boy. So Warped Wood Mist, which... I think is actually pretty good. <laughs> Mistral Coordinator for a dual faction card, and we have the Time Myrmidon uncommon. A Beekeeper here. This is also life gain though. <laughs> but man, the Builder's such a strong unit. So we're gonna go with the with the Builder here. But I think it's just the Cautious Mantis. You see it is a 3-4 now here, but I mean, it's still amazing. Wow, Skylighter's still in the pack, huh? Other cards, Leeching Viper has always been a threat in more stalled out boards. So I think it is actually more impressive than it looks. I haven't been able to play or play against this card. I still feel like it's pretty strong. Then we have a Lightning Strike, but no reason to, to just not keep taking the decent time cards that are coming around. So none of these deal with life gain, which we do want to keep track of here. Skylighter is kind of like a go wide card. Canyon Lurker is not great. So I'm looking at like Calculated Strike, because Xenon does have some token makers or just Steel Avenger. I guess we could go for the strike here. Crystal and Beekeeper. I mean, it's probably just Beekeeper still. Oh, Gentle Seeker still? Wow, okay, whoever has passed me this pack just wants nothing to do with time. We'll take the Gnarled Ant once again because it gains life. Okay, we, <laughs> we are getting to a point of a little bit too many 4-drops. I guess this is the 4-drop we want, though, unless we just secure a 2-drop here. Uh, take another. Fall and then just wrapping up the pack here. That is pretty strong. We do have a sacrifice outlet here. We're pretty low on spells for Wormstone. Although we do want relics because we did pick up Gentle Seeker. Oh, it's another four drop? I didn't know Worm Wormstone was a four drop. Oh my god. That's tough. We'll take the stronger spell though. There's been a lot of good stuff for us. Man, Skylighter's so good. Yeah, let's take the Skylighter. We're starting to see some fire cards, but we need to keep in mind we do want enough life gain and relic synergies for the Gentle Seeker. Fire doesn't have any life gain. So we could...
could take the Vein Parasite here. We have oh, a lot of things already that trigger it. Actually, I mean, that's a pretty good pickup. And it triggers the life gain for Hive Hexagon. Okay, sure. Stone Scar Silex. That's pretty good, especially considering we could splash. I want it for my collection. Ooh, Fisher King. It's a nice one, but this is pretty far from what we want to be doing. There's another Calculated Strike. Eh. Just pick up the Seek Power. We do need two drops, so I might just want the Mediocre Unit here. Um, so no, we wouldn't be touching that at all. Yeah, I'll take the two drop. Oof, nothing for us. Oof. Okay, we'll just take the best cards that are in the other factions. Desperado's pretty good. We don't really have any way to get it in, though. An Amethyst Acolyte to just snipe some unit is kind of cool. Wow, the end of this pack was a bunch of nonsense. Lights out. An insatiable bug. Uh, we'll just take the removal, because we are lacking on that. Um, man, Crinkle Boys. I guess just the Elder Mark. Plays well with our deck and as a relic, which we do want. Bunch of red here. Take a two drop. Bat or panic ensues. Guess I'll take a panic ensues. Another grumbo. This is not the two drop we want. There's a graviturgist, which is somewhat interesting given two grumbos, but <laughs> that card does just trigger our life gain uh, take the Graviturgist but we'll put it in the board oh my god okay we'll take the Consuming Greed another Grumbo's Platoon Insect Swarm okay I mean that's just a strong 3 drop even if it doesn't have any synergy put the snipe away Oh, at the end of your next turn, sack them. So you get a one-shot swing with all of them. I do say we take legendaries, but that's pretty mediocre. What else do we have here? This pack's pretty unimpressive. There's, like, the coordinator, which we could splash with. Ah, oh, that doesn't even touch it. We have one seek power. Ugh. I guess we aren't missing a lot by taking it. Wow, this really fell through. I guess we have the rat. Just because we have so many threes already. Although Colony Steward's really good. And we probably aren't playing Insect Swarm. Yeah, we'll pick it up. Okay, probably take the Wormstone here. Just nothing. Sack another unit to hunt too. Okay, that's that's strong. Why not just another three drop? <laughs> Ugh, man. Wonder if someone moved in our factions. Amber acolyte here, or the coordinator. Let's take the acolyte. a tough one. Wow, this pack just... Hmm. Well... Okay. Six cuts. Oh, not a 
huge fan of the Hive Lurker. Consuming Greed's probably pretty mediocre. Probably don't need Acoly uh, Amethyst Acolyte. Want Maggot Swarm. Refuse Roller, pretty mediocre. Okay, so this is the final deck. Seek power to help a little bit, especially because we do want to hit these four or five drops. Our curve is a little bit higher than usual, so... Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, this, this deck doesn't seem great to me. I do have some good, uh, what do you call it, uncommons. But we, we lack some punch, I feel. Ooh, I do like seeing that, though. Yeah, so we can just wait to play him. We don't need to play anything else, save the Grumbo. Rather just wait to play the Obstinate Rat Ooh. until we have Vein Parasite out. Okay, so we're going to lead off with the Colony Steward because next turn we can go like Vein Parasite and Bloodseeker here. Just a little more efficient. Um, we can attack in as Lightning Strike. Or not. Uh, so we have no Relics here. So yeah, we'll just play out our units. Pretty hard to beat. Okay, we can attack with a 3 3. Get our second shadow. We just play the ant, that way we have two blockers. Gain a lot of life, too. Oh man. Am I doing it right? They're using the card I know know a lot about. Oh man. Man, we really don't need that. So that blocks all of our attacks. Okay. Jesus. Okay, so the best thing we can do, I mean, play through Grumbos is not really great. So I guess we I'll just save the Canyon Lurker. Saw through the trees. Please be a power card. No. The one thing that can attack, uh Another drain in. I mean, if we kill the Terrazon with lights out, we have attacks with the 3 3 now and the 5 5 and the 4 3. I think that does enough. We just take the chance on it. He's got some sort of fast spell. Now all of these would be a trade with the Ant Eater, and he has to at least start chumping. Yeah, I like that.
Got him down to nine, and now he's just got a bunch of dirtily creatures or units. I really like him tapping or attacking. Here. Okay. So now I still have a good attack with the steward. Combo. Um. Doesn't block. <laughs> mm. Oh, that was a good mill. Oh, man. I need to start drawing some action here. Ooh. Okay. That's not what we want. 4-3 has an attack now. Drawing more impactful stuff than us. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well. Yeah. As as it goes. Kill the three four. Er, not necessarily. Hit a non power card, please. Nice. Okay, come on. Give me some game. That is what you would call game, yes. Okay, put it back to his hand. Um, if he goes block everything, damn. Uh, did I just do my math totally wrong? God damn it. Yeah, he just had five. I don't know, I just... Oh, man, that was bad. I should have attacked with both. Mill him closer to his strong cards, I guess.
This is a tough one. I mean, we, we have to go for it. Okay, so... I mean, we just go Beekeeper. And this guy. Six to six. <laughs> Game two. Uh, I need to stop drafting these, like, dirtily Xenon decks, but... <sighs> it's like, I keep taking the strongest cards in the pack, and this is where it's taken me. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just get an extra drain. You're worth more dead than alive. is pretty good. We would really like to see a... What do you call it? Um, sigil off the top here. Hopefully that's not too late. Okay. This thought us to have one drop, two drop, three drop. Uh, see if we can crawl back to a positive record here. It's happened <laughs> multiple times. Oh, I hate the mirror match so much. Uh, It's like their cards just always end up lining up better than ours. That is really annoying. The hive protects its own. We're actually happy with that because if he just didn't block, he gets to trade for our 3 3 with Valor. So, we got a little lucky our opponent didn't see that there. Oh, hell. Now you get to play this. Buff our things. Now we'll just thin our deck. Get a time sigil. So he's gonna attack us for eight here. I guess we do have to trade. Ooh, never mind. You cannot put out the light. We are in what the kids call trouble. Maybe we 
shit and attack there. Okay, we'll use that. Kill the ant. Happy to trade here because he won't be able to get it back with three power left. Now we use the most power efficient thing we can do play three more Grumbos. And just like that, we are stable. Opponent's got two cards in hand, but if they use their turn six to just play the Hive Stinger, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Gotta trade two Grumbos here. Now we get to attack for four. Opponent can't block. Unless they have Stone Skin, I guess. That would just... Then we just concede. Get back the rat? Oh, saddle tour, sure. Yeah, off to market. About to say. Perimeter clear. <laughs> Moments later. Okay, I, I guess we just attack. Well, we could have got in with Grumbo as well. Just need to hope we can get something here. So now that can attack. That was a draw. <laughs> I mean, the bar is not very high here. Okay, he trades with two nonsense creatures. We kind of already got our value for that. More moments later. survive this turn. Oh, please, please, yes, yes, yes. Just the one thing. Oh, okay. okay. GG. Too little, too late. one minus one minus one minus one gets them down to two and then that's game two uh. stupid absolutely stupid oh, okay okay we got our first win, and we basically had to get extraordinarily lucky just to get it. Or, that's not true. We had to get a top deck and win by exacties to get it. <laughs> Which is like, uh, not where we want to be. 
doesn't need even... Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, wow. So you're telling me there's hope. Mill a power card. Oh, we milled him closer to a power card. Really? Interesting. Power card, power card. Oh boy, he's not going to be happy about that one. Power card. <laughs> we milled. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was. <laughs> See, normally that would be us. That's why it's, like, slightly funny to see on the opposite side for once. Okay, we are 2-3 and three after getting bailed out for both of those wins. This nice mediocre pile. We have some game, but it, this deck feels like you either draw the, the few good cards or... You just lose horrendously. Uh, not sure how we'll lead off here. Um, Beekeeper can for sure start getting in, and then we have the body left over for Calculated Strike. Left to market. That's fine. Hopefully we can hit a sigil here. Oh. Okay, two of our best cards. That's not what we wanted to see. So this is still going to be a 7-6? Oh my god, we gotta trade off like our entire board. Or the Shadowlands picker, bone picker, whatever the hell it's called. I guess we just race him, right? Like, we are attacking for more than he is, especially because we have calculated sacrifice. I mean, that's fine. could easily still have something, but tentatively, I mean, we lose to an assortment of fast spells here. So let's see, he would need plus three, plus one. That would put him to 12, dealing exacties. So even if he has that, we only need to block with one, because we're going to gain three with Stargazing here. Okay, so now we can do exactly what we said. Now, 
Jesse as Ignite here. That's game. And that, kids, is exactly how you race. Perfectly. This could be really good. Uh, let's just take a random hand. And we just get a worse sketchy keep. Okay. Well, we... How many times has this happened? We... Um, we don't have a two drop, so I guess I would rather just not, ooh, okay, yeah, put that to the bottom, that card's useless. We must finish in time. Okay, so now we can do that. Get our second shadow. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, two drop war cry on the play. Beekeeper off the top. No, no, no! Okay, that's game. Well, this has been the story of the format. We get a really quick 0 2, scrounge back three, three or four wins, and then that's that's all. <laughs> Here, clock to market! Guess we can play Beekeeper here. On the authority of Iron Thor. trying to wait to play this when I can have flying in charge. But... Grab your Oof. Jesus. That's pretty gross. Um... I mean, we... Probably just trade with Gnarledan. We'll just attack for two here. Just need to watch out for a moment of heroism. Don't attack with a 5 3. Because it's kind of like if we block and he has a trick, we're just screwed. Okay. Okay. There's hope still. Um, yeah, so we can. Stinky Roach. Fusion. These two. This is going to be tough. Our opponent's now at six. More cards in hand, and we're about equal on board. That's random. We still just trade with the our gnarled ant if he ends up attacking with the five. Okay, that is what we want to see. Although we have no life gain currently. And we really don't want to sack a unit to hunt either. Okay, let's just start getting aggressive here. Mm 
You shall soon be offered. He's gonna make it a four four. Hmm. Actually, I kind of hope he does, because we still... Actually, <laughs> we still have two attacks, so this is really bad for him. Because we just use double panic and Susan in response. Oh yeah, this is great. Um, does that change anything for us? It makes the stinking roach a good block. Or a good attack, excuse me. Deals one less damage. Okay, we it make it lets us sandbag it just a little bit longer. Just go all in here. And depending even how much damage he takes, he up so Wow, really? Then you just play this and pass. And now we have them down to essentially four with double panic ensues. Oh boy, is he gonna wipe the board? Well, then he would have blocked more, so it couldn't be fall the spires. That can only kill the three two, and that's not even good, because that just is dealing you an extra damage. Yeah, that's probably Probably just game. Yeah, so we can attack with these guys. I mean, we probably just attack with everything. With double panic ensues, this is... Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't look like Arena. Yeah. It, this, is, this is a new update. Oh wow, they changed a lot. Classy Joe, and we're playing with Classy All right. Joe. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> um, well, Rumbo, this is huh? uh, two lands, Joe. Uh, two Grumbo platoons. Yes, and they have unleash. Um, <laughs> we're on the draw. Uh, so we're on the draw, so. We'll end up keeping this. We didn't come here to mulligan. May fortune smile on us both. Ooh, never didn't have it. So, Joe, Unleash creates a copy of the card when you play it. So it kind of has multi-kicker to play another copy for its cost. If that kind of makes sense. Um... Although, we probably are just going to play it on two so we can block this guy. He's He now has double double damage. It's not really double strike because he doesn't deal his damage first. Yeah. Oh, we just got wrecked. So this gives it taunt so we have to block it. And it gave it plus one health. Okay, our opponent has, like, a crazy curve here. It's going to be pretty hard to beat. So we'll just play our 3-3. Three, three. Valor is like Bushido. If okay. you remember what that is, it's like Bushido yeah, 1. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Lots going on. <laughs> oh, no attack? Really? Okay, that's pretty good for us. Um, two two ones trade pretty well on his board here. Yeah, I kind of just like that. 
It looks like our opponent missed a sigil as well. Okay, this might be our chance to claw back into this. Hunt is like the new mechanic in this set. Basically, you mill your opponent for one, and if you hit a land, you get a spell that costs zero and gives you plus one mana that turn. Or if it hits a, a non-land, your unit gets plus one, plus one. Gotcha. Um... So we'll trade off with the guy that gets double damage, and then that's a 2-3, so we let that through. I don't really know why he just traded there. Okay, so... Let's use Seek Power to get a Sigil. I mean, a 4-3 still blocks pretty well. Wow, they still aren't hitting a sigil? Okay, they're gonna hunt us for one here. Okay, they got an extra power. Uh, four, three, either just trades with a three, two, or a two, two, and a one, two. That's not great, but we have all this gas in our hand. I almost feel like we start trading off with his board here. Yeah. He's still stuck on power. Well, next turn he'll probably use his, uh... That free power card that I was talking about. Okay, sure. Kill the 2-3. Now you get to pass the turn, and ambush his flash for units. Okay. So we might even get to... Oh. Got him. Now we're just like feeling great here. Uh oh, life steal. Hey, you know what that is. <laughs> um. That being said, our Grumbo now attacks really well. I mean, attacking with a five-five just uh, it just wipes his board. And yeah, it's not bad. It's probably what he does. Man, if only we had any actual interaction in our hand instead of just all these units. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go two two. You shall soon be offered. I guess we'll... I would rather have a, a stronger unit right now. Okay, so 5-4, and now we get the extra power card. Oh! Hey. Nice board wipe. <laughs> Come on, mill a power card. Yeah. Just make sure he's stuck on four. Oh, damn it, that's a strong one. Okay, hit two power cards. No. Nah. Okay. We've been flooding a lot for whatever reason in this deck, even though yeah. we have, like, um, this, which, which gets a land from our deck. Yeah, I imagine we just lose from here. Our opponent's gonna play a Sigil and start playing five and six drops, and we're yeah. just gonna start flooding out. Or seven drops, apparently. Oh, oh that seems pretty bad for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, this I, this is like exactly how it goes here, so I'm not. That is a good draw, but we needed that like five years ago.
If we can keep drawing impactful stuff like that, there's hope, but... Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Try to make this interesting. You like a one man a six seven, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good you said, game. Good game, my friend. That's very classy. Yes. Classy Joe. So literally like all of my other drafts the <laughs> O2 into the 4-3. Uh. But I've been really struggling in this draft format. So this set just came out. It's basically like Ixalan or Ikoria as far as like uh, I guess it's more like Ikoria as far as theme. But insects. Yeah. I just I just can't keep drafting like piles like <laughs> the synergy is very light. Yeah. But the issue with that is I, I can't even... Like, this has a good mix of, like, strong creatures, uh, some amount of interaction and removal, and it, it, just, it just never gets there. I'm just getting these, yeah. like, really average 4-3, three, 3-3, three, three, like, results. Okay, so you just you're fifty fifty in this format unless you get like a rare or legendary. That's what it feels like. I hope you guys enjoyed, especially with this last minute cameo from Mr. Joe. Oh, let me open these up first. Catch you on the channel for more Eternal Drafts. Peace.